What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Independent Experience. I'm Indy XP and this is your morning market wake up call for Tuesday, August 25th, 2020. Let's go ahead and jump on into the markets and see where we're going to be starting today off at. Gold is up ever so slightly, currently at 1934.72. Silver is steady at 26.68, giving us ratio of 72.52. Platinum is up nicely, currently at 940.31, and Palladium has made a little bit of a jump at 2234.15. In other metals markets, rhodium is down $200, currently at $12,000 even. Copper is up a penny at 299. Aluminum is up four cents at a dollar four, and uranium is steady at 3080. Barrels of crude oil have made a little bit of a jump as well, currently at $42.79 a barrel. We had a good day on Wall Street yesterday. The Dow Jones was up 378 points, closing out the day at 2830846. The Nasdaq was up 67 points at 11,379.72, and the S&P 500 was up 34 points at 3431.28. If you guys trade in Bitcoin, we've been fairly steady there. It is down slightly currently at 11,621.96. And if you happen to be a fan of the Utah Goldback, those are currently exchanging at $3.23. In today's video, I want to take a look at an article that comes to us by way of Reuters. This came out, uh, this news came out yesterday. This is a trove of thousand-year-old gold coins unearthed in Israel. In central Israel, youths have unearthed, unearthed hundreds of gold coins stashed away in a clay vessel for more than a thousand years. The treasure was discovered on August 18th, the Israeli Antiquities Authority said on Monday, by teenagers volunteering in an excavation site in central Israel where a new neighborhood is planned to be built. The person who buried this treasure 1,100 years ago must have expected to retrieve it and even secured the vessel with a nail so it would not move. We can only guess what prevented him from returning to collect this treasure, said excavation director Liat Nadev Ziv. The area it was found in houses workshops at the time, and the treasure was hidden and the identity of the owner is still a mystery. It is amazing, said Oz Cohen, one of the volunteers who found the treasure. I dug in the ground, and when I was excavating the, sto the soil, I saw what looked to be tiny, thin leaves. When I looked again, I saw that they were gold coins. It was really exciting to find such a special and ancient treasure. Dating back to the 9th century, the 425 24 karat gold pure, pure gold coins uh, would have been a significant amount of money at the time, said Robert Cool, a coin expert at the Antiquities Authority. For example, with such a sum, a person could buy a luxurious house in one of the most, uh, one of the best neighborhoods in Fostat, the enormous wealthy capital of Egypt in those days, Cool said. So, very cool discovery there. No word on what they're going to do with the coins. I, uh, under Israeli law, any any antiquities uh, found like that are under the control of the Antiquities Authority. So, um, you know, they will decide what the cultural significance of those coins are and uh, do what they see fit at that point. Um, I don't know if the people that f actually, the volunteers that found it actually have any claim to them or not, but uh, uh, if, if they are not found to have cultural significance if they get to claim rights to that or not. I'm not sure. Maybe somebody can let me know down in the comments exactly how that works there in Israel. So yeah, very cool article. All right, guys, that's it. It's Tuesday. Go out and live your lives. <sighs> Hope everybody appreciated today's video. If you liked it, go ahead and hit that like button for me. It really helps me out be defeat those YouTube algorithms. If you haven't been new to the independent experience and you want to keep up to date on all the latest and greatest. Whoa, what's this? Metal, metal flyaway. Oh, yeah, that back up there. If you want to keep up to date on when all the latest and greatest comes out, go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe and jingle jangle bell right there in the corner for my bing bong so you can stay notified of when the new content's coming out. Of course, we're going to put the card right here. You can catch up on the back catalog by checking that. 
out at the end of this video. Guys, I've been NDXP from the Independent Experience, and I'm here again to remind you, if the women don't find you handsome, you should at least find your pockets heavy.